Hello everybody, Izumi here doing Fenrir Strikes 8 star multi solo. First my tank is going to be Kickboxer Ulin. Not much going on, just some earth damage and some fire and some light. Next is going to be Yord, and normally you can't use Ace here, but Yord is special because she has anti-freeze. So feel free to use her all day. And her usual setup for me is the X and then the other SP, followed with just Feather Blade for healing and a Gale Sickle. You might need um, high Aqua Rings on 8 star and 7 star. Using Bubble Blaster. I love those Magic Positron Rifles and just some other basically filler Earth Gear. I don't really have a ton of Earth Gear. And fourth is going to be Culinary Artist Poel because she will work with the passive that um, Bubble Blaster has and basically close to the same up, same setup except for this, which that is just back row, earth damage, and Envy for the quick. And this, uh, quick and, I always forget, it's Reflect, yeah. And basically almost the same thing. A zombie mask are pretty good. And a reforester. And that's it. Let's go. Monstrous Fenrir is in the melee row and is beast and is considered to be grounded. His action skill, Icicle Death, does 40% water attack damage three times and freeze for three turns to the nearest enemy row. Freeze effect applies to Aesir, Humans, Therians, and Yotun. His action skill is water attack damage and freeze for one turn to all heroes in the connect battle. Freeze only applies to Aesir, Humans, Therian, and Yotun. Additionally, at 8 star he has Mist Field. And Mist Field is active from the second and third HP bars. The most effective elements are going to be Fire, Earth, and Light. Um, as far as the crystals go, the melee row of crystals does water attack damage and magic attack down and freeze for one turn to two random enemies. Freeze effect applies to Aesir, Humans, Therians, and Yotun. The ranged row of crystals is powerful water attack damage and defense down and freeze for two turns to the front hero. Freeze only applies to Aesir, Humans, Therian, and Yotun. The back crystals additionally at 7 star generate the aqua field and 8 star they generate a high aqua field. Um, as far as heroes go, um, Envy is not the greatest choice and neither is Poel or Sobel. But what kind of negates that for Envy a little bit is because I have her magic attack higher than everybody else. So Yord's X and SP weapon give her sure shot, which makes it so she goes ahead and hits anyway. And Poel is kind of feeding off of Sobel's passive to give her bonus damage with earth weapons. So it kind of helps a little bit. I It, it misses some, but it's good enough. Um, some better choices f would probably be Bugmaster Keeley, Wanderer Port, Dual Blade Solstice, General Tholin, Clown Jest, Sorcerer Gliffy, um, Kindred Spirit Camille actually works fairly well. If you need a healer, you can use Noah or Chocolatey Noah. And pretty much, I just hit him with as much earth damage as possible. Now keep in mind that Fenrir is more weak to fire and light damage, but those don't do as much damage to the crystal. So I, I opted to just go straight for mostly earth damage in this. But if you can get rid of the crystals fast enough, you can also use fire and light. And... Um, hmm. Not really much else to say about it. I think this was one of the first connect battles that came out in the game. 
and again with most of those that came out at that at the beginning it has been so many heroes come out that there are so many good heroes to use that it makes it pretty easy to do and we're almost done here another couple hits Quite well using the limit burst, which I sometimes call limit break, you know, kind of old habits there. Quite well with the knives and the forks, like somebody off Toriko, and here we go. Let's see our maximum damage. Alright, there we go. Thank you for watching and have a good day.